it must be annoying for us to keep pointing out something that you cannot translate with your physical senses and what we want you to do is to try to be satisfied with the knowledge that if I can feel it that then I will soon see it you've just got to find some way of soothing yourself that since I can feel it therefore it must be and if you can accomplish that the receptive mode just means you're receiving something so you could be in the receptive mode of what your vortex is offering up or what vulnerability offers in other words you're always in the receptive mode so if you just start there by acknowledging that whatever is occurring to you whatever thoughts are coming to you whatever manifestations are happening they are happening in direct relationship with whatever receptive mode you're in an easier way of hearing it is whatever mood you're in so that's elementary isn't it in other words you understand that you all do don't you you understand that so now let's add another factor to that and let's call that factor momentum and let's talk about why momentum happens momentum happens because you give your attention to something you give your attention to something and then something manifests and then you give your attention to something and something manifests and you give your attention to something and something manifests you have it so good because you're out here on the manifesting edge you're out here on the edge where whatever you've got going on is showing itself to you moment by moment by moment by moment by moment you have no excuse to be oblivious about what your vibrational countenance is because the things that are manifesting around you are evidence of what it is if you are aware of the way you feel and you sort of kind of like that feeling so you focus there it will become more and more and more and more and more you could take any thought of minor importance and you could focus on it and bring it to a place of momentous importance and it would manifest in this day every single one of you could do that with anything that is important to you this is the power of the universe that you've got working with you this is the power of the focus of source energy that you've got working with you you have tools at your fingertips you have the energy that creates worlds flowing through you you see you can be or do or have anything but you've got to break it down in some way that you know that you are doing it so we would suggest that you pick something that you pick something that is of some importance to you and you decide that you're going to focus on it until you can show yourself in one day you can show yourself how the momentum gathers around that subject in one day from the point of just being able to talk about it to the point of feeling fairly good feeling emotion about it to the point of really feeling excitement about it to the point of it manifesting in one day you can do that you can do that and you do it all the time that's what's so funny about this conversation you do those things all the time you just don't know that you're doing them and so you don't give yourself the credit of focus that you deserve to give yourself the credit of focus spend more time in the vortex what do you think's in there anyway it's really funny here's this vortex all ripe and ready and really eager well we are the eager ones to show it to you and you're over there saying I don't see it I don't see it I don't see it and we say that's why that's why you got to look where it is and feel like it feels so pick any subject look where you think it might be if you feel that something is lost where you stand and you believe us at all that there is a vibrational version of you then look in the direction of this vibrational view and describe it to us if you feel lost what does found feel like if you feel confused what does clarity feel like if you feel poor what does richer feel like in other words you got to look where you think you are so look there and describe that for just a moment and stop the other I've been doing this I've been doing this how do I get the money out of the vortex and into the bank when does it come to me but you see you can't talk about why the drought is unpleasant and attract the rain you can't talk about what's missing and allow what's missing to be fulfilled you've got to find a way to look at until you allow yourself you see you don't have to build the momentum in the vortex the momentum is already built you ask and the momentum is already gathered and it's huge and ready for you to receive it is it too big for you to receive it no not at all 
could you get ready to receive it yes are you ready right now no could you get ready yes are you ready now no could you get ready are you ready no do you want to get ready yes you want to get ready so do you believe that there is a vibrational version of things that you want yes and do you think that you could find any words for them or is it just a big murky mess of a mist of little pieces of things that you've thrown into it or do you think there's anything in that that you could define and see it isn't easy to go there because you don't have the momentum but we promise you the momentum will come fast you see it's easy to tell the other story because that momentum's there it's easy to say all of those things but it's not how it needs to be what's in your vortex that you would like to define we just want you to find some simple thing that's over there like a state of clarity or any old thing what's there that you want what's there that's missing what's found that you feel lost from what's over there that isn't over here what's over there that you want what's over there what's out there what's up there what is it that you want what do you want that you don't have pick something that you feel close to so when you say I want cars or I want everything and you say how just change that one question to why because the why will hold you in the momentum of your desire longer the how almost every time will take you out of it whenever you ask yourself for an answer that you don't have you lose your connection but when you ask a question that leads you further in the momentum of your desire it allows the momentum of the desire to go further did you hear that and so so I got a, a, a that ducktails with that a little bit as in and a question about interpretation because I'm always focused on uh, pre manifestation awareness as in uh, what I'm thinking what I'm feeling so what's gonna come back if I go through this route but I'm also always interested in post manifestation awareness so but it's nice when they jive isn't it yeah when you see something coming yeah but sometimes something happens and you can interpret it as in a million ways like uh, I don't know like I'm seeing a cat walking on the street and I think oh shit I must be alive because he's looking at me and winking at me or whatever but but it can be just just whatever it doesn't have to do anything with alignment or not well, here's the thing everything that comes into your vicinity is part of your point of attraction and we know what you're getting at in other words how much of this is the response of my deliberate offering of vibration and we want to say let's just start with how much of this is in response to my vibration and then how much of my vibration is deliberate because sometimes you're more deliberate than others but that's why we were playing with our friend earlier today about the consideration that he was having for the woman who was sitting next to him we want you to get it that your vortex really is ready to pop at all times so actually very little that you are doing in this red hot moment is the reason that something comes into your experience just like when you plant the kernel of corn in the ground you don't expect it to just pop up and be full of ears you understand that there's a process and so there's this deciding process and the planting process and then tending to process and there's the natural gestation process and there's the law of attraction in your own inner being and source energy a focused upon it process things are always being presented or you might say projected or you could say revealed to you things are always being revealed to you the big question is are you in a state of realization of it and the more you hold yourself in that state of being tuned in so that you are focused upon and feeling and aware of the dovetailing of you and you the fullness of you and you then you begin to feel that not only the feeling that we're all in this together but the importance of your point of view the feeling of invincibility what we mean by that is I can do anything say again I can do anything that is that that's what it is for me not only I can do anything that I decide to do but in this moment of time 
the energy that creates worlds is pouring through me and all that I've intended that is in my vortex is available to me and that feeling of invincibility or eagerness or readiness is the feeling that allows you to receive the impulse or the words you say you see to many in the world someone doing what Esther is doing or what you are doing seems like something odd or something rare but it should not be either because everyone is an extension of source energy but if someone doesn't understand the process and hasn't paid attention to their own emotions and hasn't shown themselves bit by bit by paying attention brilliant you to pre-manifestation and post-manifestation and we tease our physical humans because you create your own reality but most of you don't even have an awareness of the reality you've created until it shows up and then you go yikes <laughs> or yay <laughs> But when you are deliberately contouring your emotions by deliberately choosing your thoughts, when you get some measure of control over the knee jerk reactions and instead of having knee jerk reactions, you are having deliberate thoughts about things, then that feeling of invincibility or that feeling of certainty, that feeling of I know who I am, that feeling of all is right in my world, that feeling of love for everyone that ability to look into any composite of energy which means one single human or a family or a nation or a world that whatever you are choosing is your object of attention when you are in true concert with who you really are what you find when you look is something that you love but you got to train yourself into those satisfying feelings Otherwise, you don't know what you're seeing. And if you're, if you're in that, that, that not always, but, but mostly state of alim alignment, are you then automatically, yeah, that's step five, right? That you're automatically uh, choosing the inter interpretation of the post-manifestation as in positive? You see value in every single thing. When contrast happens, even if it hits you hard for a minute, you acknowledge its value because you know what it has launched. And you understand that it's what you came for. And so you don't spend any time going past a little dissatisfaction. You pull yourself back into satisfaction right away because you understand that contrast must be allowed and even embraced and even adored in order to be the deliberate creator that you've been born to be. Otherwise, oh, it would get so boring so fast. If you didn't have other people yanking your chain, pushing your buttons, making your life miserable. If you didn't have others giving you reasons to focus, you would focus less. Yeah. Enough? Perfect. Thank really you. good. Really good.